hello to you today. I want to submit to you that the presence of the adversary that we call Satan is real. And his plan is to attack each of us as we move closer to our divine destiny and purpose. This methodology can be subtle and he can hide behind the veneer of what might appear to be love. But God has a way of revealing to his children that every hug is not a heavenly expression and every utterance of love is not necessarily authentic. Satan is not always flashy nor flamboyant. He many times drapes himself in the garments of intellect and then has the gall of presenting himself in the soothing sounds of charisma and eloquence. But we register on his radar when our clarity of purpose marries our zeal of determination to reach the highest version of ourselves. That's why when you halt the wallowing in past depression and say farewell to those who seem to love you as long as you were useful to them. Well, get ready. The adversary is coming. He hates the new breath of life we are experiencing in our souls and the nascent plans that are shaping our future. But it's okay, because when you immerse yourself in the waters of repentance, a refreshing glow emanates from your soul and the aura of success beams so brightly it ultimately blinds the imbeciles of Satan and lights the path of our steps. So for us to be sure that our steps are ordered by the Lord. So my friends, do not fret when pain grips your moment. It's just another opportunity God is giving us to plant our faith in Him. Because in the end, all things work together for our good. Even if the initial taste of it is not very pleasant. Remember, with God the sour is only the prelude to the sweet and his sweetness awaits each of us. That's why he tells us to oh taste and see that the Lord is good. And you know what my friends, he really, really is. Have a great week, my friends. JGE Weekly is brought to you by the Renaissance Ministry. The narration and music is composed and performed by Gentile. Like us and subscribe to our channel.